Bienvenidos a todos. Welcome everyone. I am the Seamster. You're probably wondering to yourself, what the heck is that pink thing behind him? That right there is an old eight, 1988 work truck that we are going to transform with the help of my son and turn this truck into an approved STFU food truck. And I'm going to show you the beginning steps from doing the paperwork all the way to the very end where we're actually making food out of it. So stay tuned, everybody. So come on, let's go inside because it's still March. I'm cold. Okay, so let me just tell you a quick little story of how we even got started with this. So my son comes to me and he says, you know what, Dad, I saved up $10,000 in my hard-earned cash, and I'd, start, I'd like to start my own business. And I says, okay, well, what do you want to do? And he says, well, I'd like to buy a food truck. And I says, well, and I said, you know, food trucks typically run around twenty-five dollars to $30,000, and it's hard to get a loan at a bank because eh, it's hard to get those things appraised at that amount of money that they want because of the equipment that's inside. And so I said to him, I said, why don't we just make one from the very you know, beginning right to the very end. And he says, okay. He goes, but I really don't know how to do a lot of that stuff. I says, well, listen, I says, I'm willing to sacrifice 30 days of my life for you because I've already given him so much more of <laughs> my life already. So I said, 30 more days, you know what I mean? What is that? Really? Nothing. So I said, I'll do most of the work, but I am going to need your help for some of these projects. I do understand that he does work. I work. Everybody works. Everybody has to put in uh, everything they have to in order to make this whole thing run the way that it does. So I, I told him, I says, okay, I says, what am I going to do to start looking? So I looked and I found a truck down in Detroit. Now it's a three and a half hour drive. And so I took that drive. The wife and I, we went down there and checked it out. And sure enough, it was a good deal. Uh, she was asking uh, $2,500 for the truck. I got it for $2,400 because it needed uh, two front tires. But they were okay. No, they weren't. They were bad. And so uh, what ended up happening is that uh, I drove the truck five and a half hours. Five and a half hours at 57 miles an hour. And you know what a blown speaker is like uh, when you turn it up all the way? It's terrible. It's rattly. It's loud. That's what an empty delivery truck sounds like. So all you people that are delivery truck drivers that, you know, UPS, FedEx, and all these things, I feel for you. And I understand why you guys wear the headphones now because it is a unbearable drive. I can tell you that. I can tell anybody right now. It is unbearable. When these trucks are empty, it is just a rattling rectangle box that's going against friction and gravity and all those scientific things. It's just a nightmare. So, put on your work clothes because I'm going to put mine on. Follow these step-by-step -step instructions. Follow along the best that you can. If you have some type of building ability, then you will have no problem building your own STFU food truck. If you do have problems with that, I would suggest that you go get a loan, try to, and go buy your own truck. Because this is not going to be an easy task, but it's something that I'm willing to try. And, uh, yeah, I've had, a, I've had a concession before, so I understand. It's, 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 it's fun. You can make over $1,000 per day, and I have. So with that, grab your coffee, grab your soda, grab your popcorn, whatever. I'm going to make this probably a four-part series because this isn't going to be something that you can do in 15 minutes. But I'm going to speed these things up, okay, because I don't need to explain so much to you. So come on, everybody. Let's do this. I'm ready, so you should be too. Come on. All right, so let's step inside. Steps here. We are inside of the box truck, which will in the future be a food truck. Yeah, that's right. I've done this before. So uh, actually, I know what I'm doing. It's just a matter of doing it. And there is a lot of hard work that's involved in making a food truck. So if you don't have very many skills on making a food truck, I would not suggest making a food truck. I'd probably just go and buy one for around $25,000 to $30,000. Yeah. But if you can make a food truck, then you can purchase one for around five or six thousand, just the box truck, and then just follow along with me and make some walls, build some shelves, put in the pumps, uh, put in the electrical box, put everything in that it's the way it's supposed to be, and how things should be designed, and how things should be set up in order for it to get approved through the STFU. That's right, Stationary Transit Food Unit. And as you can see, 
kind of move some things in here just to get an idea of where uh, the appliances are going to go, how the shelves are going to move in here. Uh, it is very, very dirty in here. This is just an old box truck, aluminum box truck. And you can see on this side here, the, there's where the aluminum walls are. And it looks like they just used some foam board insulation, uh, original, uh, in between here. So what that does, it's not very tight, so that also causes noise and rattling when you're going down the road. You can imagine, it's very, very loud. Again, as I took off all of the half inch uh, uh, plywood that they had on this here, and, and you can see there's a foam board on the other side. And we are going to be putting in windows here. And they are just going to go right across there. And they'll be supported by steel. Um, here is where the wall is going to be for the divider behind the seats. So we're going to take this rail out. It must have been some type of sliding door that went there. And I'm going to go ahead and put a wall here.
Okay, everybody, I just want to give you an up-to-date on where we are, what we're doing, and what you've seen so far is me and my son that we're out here and we were installing the, the frames for the windows. Okay, so what it is is just basically a 2x6 reinforcement right to the aluminum uh, wall joists. Okay, so as long as you really... I, we, this aluminum is like hollowed out, okay? So it would be like taking the two of these together like this, you can see that's hollow in there. And you have to shave down your two by four so that it snugs inside of this hollow joist, wall joist. And on, on the other side, you drill holes so that it, it attaches and, and sturdies that two by four to this here. And then all we did was, uh, obviously, we supported our, our window frames all the way around to the two by fours. So it, honestly, I mean, this thing now is probably way stronger than the original just uh, aluminum uh, channel that was running through. Uh, we're going to insulate this area here uh, so it'll be nice and soundproof. The windows are obviously going right here and this will be a half inch uh, plywood that will go through here and then this will be where the countertop is going to go. And then over here will be the Coke machine, fountain uh, dispensing machine right here. We want to keep most of the weight in the back towards the rear. We want to keep most of the weight towards the rear of this because it's, uh, uh, you know, it's got dual axle. So just to give you a close up view of the frame all the way around. Pretty well supported. Because the, uh, the wall joists are hollowed out, what you have to do to your 2x4s is typically uh, shave them on each side okay, so that they, they fit right in like this. Okay? You can see it's, it's notched out on each side so it can just slide right in.
Mm-mm-mm.